But the hospital census in the state of Indiana is the highest it's been right now in the last five years. That's according to Chief Medical Officer for the Indiana State Department of Health, Dr. Lindsay Weaver. That information was released today during a news conference at the state capitol. News 18's Meredith Hackler joins us now with how these hospitalizations are affecting patients, uh, hospitals' ability to treat patients. Meredith? Jeff Sam, the Indiana State Department of Health says there are uh, 1,500 more patients hospitalized during this surge of COVID-19 than there were last year, and 80% of those people hospitalized with COVID-19 are unvaccinated. While there are new treatments for COVID-19 available, ISDH says you shouldn't count on getting one of those treatments if you are hospitalized with COVID-19. Just over 54% of eligible Hoosiers are vaccinated. That number is low compared to other states in the country. Dr. Weaver says several of the therapeutics and treatments for COVID-19 are in short supply. Merck's antiviral medication is only available to people 18 years of age and older and that have a severe risk of becoming very ill from COVID-19. It isn't recommended for people who are pregnant. On top of that, Indiana was only allocated 4,880 courses of the treatment. You can see other options on your screen right now. Dr. Weaver says not to rely on immunity from getting COVID-19 or these new treatments. All of these treatments do require a medical provider to write a prescription, and they're going to be an extremely limited supply. While it is encouraging to see science continue to develop to meet the challenges that COVID throws our way, it's important to remember that there is simply not enough medicine to go around right now. Dr. Weaver says as Omicron becomes the more dominant strain in Indiana, Regeneron and Eli Lilly's monoclonal antibody treatments will no longer be able to be used as they are not effective in treating the Omicron variant. Dr. Weaver quoted data out of South Africa that shows if you have had two doses of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, it is only 35% effective against the Omicron variant. However, getting a booster dose increases effectiveness to 75%. That's why the state health officials are urging people to get the booster shot if they haven't already. Jeff Sam, back to you.